The brown hare is the fastest British land mammal, reaching speeds of up to 45 miles per hour, often very active around March and April when boxing, which is where Mad March Hare comes from. The mountain hare is slightly smaller than the brown hare, found mainly in Scotland. The fur in the summer is a blue-grey colour, hence its other name, blue hare, but in winter the fur changes to white to match the snow. Rabbits are quite common in Britain, probably introduced into Britain from France in the 11th century by the Normans, who kept them for meat and fur. Descendants of the few which escaped from captivity can now be seen in the UK. The otter is enigmatic and a beautiful British mammal. It is a semi-aquatic mammal and has the densest fur of any British mammal with over 80,000 hairs per square centimetre. Fallow deer are quite common in Britain. The males can be recognised by the large areas on the air antlers which are unique to fallow deer. Deer antlers are thought to be the fastest growing living tissue in the animal kingdom. Although there are six species of deer living in Britain, only the red deer and the roe deer are considered native. The red deer is our largest native land mammal. Although similar to the red deer, the seeker deer in the wild are all descendants from animals which escape from deer parks. They are native to East Asia. The tiny muntjac deer are native to South China and were first brought to the UK in 1840. The muntjac deer, sometimes called the barking deer, for its tiny size has an incredible leap. The red squirrel can be found mainly in the pine forest of Scotland, although there are places in England and Wales where you can still see them today. They have a big bushy tail which is used for balance of jumping from tree to tree. It was one of the last mammals to colonise these islands before the UK was separated from the mainland by the sea. Weasels are the smallest native carnivore found in the UK. For hundreds of years, weasels were thought to possess magical powers. In the Middle Ages, it was believed that weasels could bring their dead young back to life. It was also thought they could hypnotise their prey by dancing in front of it. They are also known as the pocket-sized tiger. Stoats in the north change the colour of their fur during the winter months. They turn completely white, except for the tip of the tail which remains black. Stoats can overpower prey up to six times larger than themselves. The pine martin belongs to the same family as stoats, weasels and otters. Pine martins almost became extinct in Britain after years of persecution by gamekeepers and hunters who trapped them for their fur. Thanks to work of conservation groups, they are slowly making a comeback in some areas. Foxes have been living in the UK since the last ice age. They are mainly nocturnal but can sometimes be seen during daylight hours. In the winter, the fur coat of the fox becomes thicker and a richer red-brown colour to help insulate them from the cold weather. Badgers are one of the most shy and harmless mammals. They spend the daytime under the ground in dens, known as sets, coming out after dark to feed and play. They often live in large family groups of ten or more. The sets are used by successive generations of badgers. A set can remain in the same location for centuries. The hedgehog is one of our most iconic British mammals. A hedgehog can have, have up to 6,000 spines on its back. The hedgehog hibernates in the UK between October and April when the weather is cold. The water vole is best known to children as the famous ratty from the classic story The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. Water voles are the largest vole found in the UK and one of the largest voles in the world. The common shrew is about half the size of a house mouse. Their constant search for food makes them extremely active animals. They need to eat every couple of hours in, in order to maintain their body temperature. The non-native grey squirrel is a common place in Britain in woodlands and parks. Why they were released is still a mystery. The most likely reason is, is that they fitted in with the Victorian's ideal of reshaping all aspects of the world and it became a fashionable thing to do. The field vole is a small mammal found across pretty much all of Britain. 
Wood mice are notoriously fast breeders. A female wood mouse can produce six litters of up to nine young every year. The young are fully grown and weaned 18 days.